We jump and we come down. We jump and we come down. We jump, we jump and we come down. So you can see that we fall down a little bit faster than when we go up. All right, so this better jumping script is gonna make it so that you have that Mario jumping. So right now when we jump, we kind of float in the air, which is realistic jumping. However much time it takes us to get into the air, it will take an equivalent amount of time to get back onto the ground. But it kind of gives us this like float mechanic, which we don't want. We want that, that Super Mario Brothers jump where it comes up and then comes down faster than it goes up. So we get a more um, like, harder feeling landing, it's more impactful. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my player here and I'm gonna create a new script. And I'm just gonna call this um, Better Jumps. I'm gonna go ahead and create an ad and now it's on my player and then I'm gonna go ahead and open up the Better Jumps script. Okay, so we're gonna leave the update method, but we're not gonna need the start method. Instead, we're gonna need an awake method. Okay, so what we need to do is basically we need to multiply gravity by a set number, a set value so that it pulls our character down. And we're not actually gonna multiply gravity itself because it's a little tricky. We're gonna multiply some other stuff. So I'm gonna create a new variable. It's gonna be a float and it's gonna be called fall multiplier. I'm gonna go ahead and set that equal to 2.5F. It's gonna basically multiply gravity by two and a half as we fall. And we're also going to grab a rigid body 2D and we're gonna call that RB. And then in our awake function, we wanna go ahead and grab the rigid body of the player and assign it. So RB equals get component rigid body 2D. Now why am I doing it this way instead of just dragging it in? Well, this is a more efficient better way to do this. So I'm just showing you another option. Okay, now is where it gets tricky. So now we need to figure out whether or not we're falling and if we are, go ahead and apply a force down. So in here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna check to see whether or not the rigid body's velocity in the Y direction is less than zero. So basically it's falling. So if the rigid body, well that rigid body has a component called velocity and it has in that velocity is a vector um, and so it has a component y. And we're just gonna check whether or not that is less than zero, which means that the velocity is going in the negative direction, it's falling down. And if so, we're gonna go ahead and do some stuff with our velocity. We're gonna go ahead and add some vector two dot up times physics 2D dot gravity dot Y. And we're gonna go ahead and multiply that by the fall multiplier minus one, because we need to make sure that we subtract what gravity is already putting on it. And we're just gonna multiply that by time dot delta time. All right, this, there's a lot of going on here, but basically what we're doing is if it's falling down, we're going ahead and we're increasing the gravity. So now when we jump, we should fall down a little bit harder. So we jump and we come down. We jump and we come down. We jump and we come down. We jump, we jump and we come down. So you can see that we fall down a little bit faster than when we go up. <laughs> 